Welcome back to the Comedy Commode, guys, and we are back with yet another review. What we have today guys is the Cohen E7 Pro wireless headphones I got off Amazon for $80 and these are my first wireless headphones I've ever bought I've had other headphones Bose headphones that are all wired and I have a lot of earbuds that I've done reviews on so I seen these on Amazon and I decided you know why not try some of the uh, wireless headphones out Something a little different, something I could wear on the plane, a little bit more comfortable, something that I could uh, plug in while uh, watching a movie or something like that. So these are the Cohen E7 Pros. I haven't tried the E7s. Uh, these are the upgraded version of those, which these aren't really that that new either, but I decided to give them a try. And uh, from a look at the box, uh, it's a very nice box, nice packaging here. It looks nice. But um, that doesn't really matter, does it? Let's get into the box. We'll go ahead and open these things up, slide the top off, and here you can see it comes with a beautiful hard case. Get a look at that, guys. Nice, uh, I wouldn't say hard case, semi-hard case, but it is great that they came with a case. The E7s do not come with a case. The E7 Pros do come with a case, which is very convenient because uh, what are you going to do whenever you're carrying? You're just going to carry your headphones around everywhere and they're probably going to break. So having the case is really nice. And the only other thing in the box is a nice little thank you card there. All right, let's set this aside and let's get into the case here. Actually, I'm going to flip it this way. Let's open this bad boy up. Very nice zipper this is what it looks like when you open the case very nice isn't it nice got a very nice pouch you can put your auxiliary cable in any accessories other things you want to hold and store inside so let's get into it uh, we got a warranty card here um, just your basic warranty card a notice card right here just basically telling you the maximum charging voltage is 5 volts and that's about it on that we got our instructions for connection and we have our owner's guide right here it's gonna tell you everything you need to know about the headphones and we have of course our headphones and don't they look nice but let's uh let's talk about this right here one of the functions that I thought was amazing is that it has an auxiliary cable option they're not just wireless you can plug them in like if you're on the plane you want to watch a movie or if you have an old mp3 player still or the radio anything you want to plug them into I think it's great that they have that option it's not just wireless that you can plug them in and uh, watch a movie on something else so the auxiliary option is pretty awesome and then we got, of course, our case, which we showed you a second ago, which is very nice. I love that it came with a case. Let's get into our headphones, would we? From first glance, I mean, the quality is pretty decent. These little plastic hangers right here feel a little cheap, but overall, they seem pretty durable. They have very nice cushions right here on the ear pieces and a very nice cushion for the head. It sets really nice on the head. You know, I've worn these things for for hours and I haven't really had a problem. After a while, you know, anything is going to start hurting your ears or your head if it's sitting there for long enough. I will say that I have been using these things for uh, I would say three weeks to maybe a month. I've been traveling a lot for work, so I decided to take these with me. I've been wearing them on the plane. I've been wearing them as I'm working. That's what I like to do with a lot of my reviews. I like to actually put them to the test before I do the review. Because a lot of people, they'll just open them right out of the box and give you a review. They haven't really used them. I use these things and um, I'm pretty impressed I'm pretty impressed one thing that I really liked about them these things are supposed to have a 30 hour 
battery life. Now it takes four hours to charge them. It says 30 hour battery life. And whenever I saw that, I was like, mm, there's no way. There's a lot of these companies that say that kind of thing and they don't really last. They'll last like five hours. But let me tell you something. I've been using these and I didn't have to charge them for probably, I think it was like a week and a half, maybe two weeks after I charged them the first time, which was amazing battery life out of these things. I mean, very impressive. I mean, that is awesome that you, you don't have to stop and charge them over and over again. I mean, you you know when you pick them up out of the case that you're going to have some good life out of these things. You're sitting on a plane for a long time. You're working all day, you know, and you're especially working all day. You know, I have that problem to where I'll have to switch to a different earbud uh, here and there because they'll go dead after four or five hours. These things are going to last you all day, probably even all week if you're using them every day, you know, all day. Maybe not all day, eight hour work day or something like that. The battery life on these things is amazing. On the construction again, I really like the way it looks here on the outside. I think that looks really nice fancy the shiny the gloss black but that's about it on the look side let's get into some of the functions of course you have your on and off switch here right here and it switches to bluetooth and you have your active noise canceling the active noise canceling let's get into that i didn't think it was very impressive and uh it didn't cut out a lot of noise you can hear it try to and whenever you switch it to active noise canceling i felt like you're getting a little bit less of quality out of them so i usually just keep mine on the regular bluetooth i mean it, it kind of shuts out the noise anyways you know you turn them up and uh they get pretty loud they do they get pretty loud and um the sound quality let's get into the sound quality that's why we're here right the sound quality the sound quality on these things is pretty impressive uh they're balanced really well good definitely uh bass heavy Good mids, could use a little bit more highs though, a little bit more clarity on the highs and stuff like that. But I mean, they sound really well, you know, compared to some of the Bose headphones that I have, they're pretty close, especially for 80 bucks. And I mean, you're talking about for the competition, a few hundred dollars you know if you're on a budget these things are great the sound quality is good uh, i mean i really can't complain about the sound quality now one thing that i will complain about is actually the bluetooth connection not actually the connection but connecting it to the phone that's what i had a problem with and that's kind of the only thing that really turns me off about these headphones is that i had problems connecting it to my phone usually on my other ones you know if they're paired already and i have my bluetooth on on my phone i'll turn the earbuds on and they'll just connect automatically just like that these i've had problems with it's not just on a certain type of phone i tried it on the iphone and the, uh my galaxy note 10 plus and i had the same problem i would have you know turn the phone headphones off i had to turn the bluetooth off on the phone and turn it back on turn the headphones back on I had to do it multiple times to get to connect, but a lot of people on the reviews say they didn't really have that problem. So maybe I just got a faulty pair, but I kind of figured it out. After I got them paired and connected, it says they're connected, but sometimes the audio just don't work. That's the problem that I'm having. So what I would do was turn the Bluetooth off on the phone, leave the headphones on, then turn the Bluetooth back on on my phone, and then reconnect and it would connect so I kind of had to like figure that out it's just a kind of a, a hassle sometimes you know I don't want to sit there for five minutes trying to get my headphones to connect to my my phone but maybe it's just the pair that I got um, but other than that I, th I think they're great headphones let's get into some of the functions of these headphones we got our pause and play button right here and also answer and hang up your phone calls and I've talked to people with these things and they sound pretty good and they say they can hear me really well so that works which I don't use a whole lot but um, let's get on to the uh, volume right here. You're going to long press to turn it up and long press here to turn it down. And these buttons also work to skip the track. You just hit it once here for next and that one of previous. So that's awesome because some of the Bluetooth uh, earbuds that I've bought don't have that function. And that's nice. You don't want to sit there and take your phone out and have to change the song. So that is really nice to have. And they're basic, you know, headphone functions. Your basic headphone functions, they all have basically the same thing. But overall, like I said, the sound quality is good. They're balanced well, I think. Maybe a little bit more highs, but for the price, you really can't go wrong. For 80 bucks compared to a few hundred dollars of the competitors, you know, the, the top brands and stuff like that. If you're on a budget, 
these are good headphones. The only problem I had, like I said, was the Bluetooth connecting to my phone, and um, that was about it, you know. Also, the Bluetooth on these phones, actually the distance, is actually pretty good. You know, I haven't gone too far. I've probably gone maybe a 30, 40 feet or something like that. Didn't really have a problem. Maybe, maybe after like 40-something feet. But I was in like shops and stuff like that, uh, working around metal buildings, and so that could have affected it a little bit but i'm never really that far away from the phone you know i usually keep my phone in my pocket sometimes i'll set it down but i'm never really like gonna run away from my phone and be that far away so i don't really see that being an issue and i don't really have any issues i haven't had any issues so the bluetooth connection is good once it connects <laughs> you know um that's the only problem but I like them. Overall, they look good. They're sturdy. I've dropped them. Dropped them because I had them on my head. I have a little bit smaller of a head, so I was working with them on, and I was kind of leaning forward like this, and I'm just kind of, I wasn't really paying attention. It slipped off my head and banged on the ground, which I thought, because they hit pretty hard, that I thought they were probably broken. But I picked them up, and they're fine. Not even a scuff or a scratch on them, really. You're not really going to be running around and jumping around in these things. Anyway, like I said, you'd probably be sitting around maybe on your computer listening to something or on a plane and they also have of course you know your adjustments here left and right for different size heads and stuff like that overall i think they're like i said i think they're a good headphone for the price i definitely give them four stars i'd give them five stars if it wasn't for it taking forever to connect to my phone overall i give them a thumbs up guys check them out cohen e7 pros on amazon for 80 bucks guys and if you like this video and want to see more videos like this be sure and subscribe hit that bell tell your friends about it and this is the comedy commode boom